Dow Jones and Nasdaq both have seen a good drop. In fact, thirty three eight hundred yet again provided it a very good support, and on the downside, twelve nine eighty, twelve nine seventy levels for US hundred as a very very good support. So now, what to expect with the US session? Which position you should take in order to profit? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon, which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis. This is the second update for the day. Those who watch for the morning update, I told you to sell. definitely would have profited yes you can be part of my telegram channel free telegram channel where i post the updates and which keeps you updated with the market moves so do join that also let's start first we'll look into tech 100 followed with dow jones do watch till the end do listen to it carefully note down the levels straight as per the levels here first let's have a look at the early charts see the retracement drop consolidation and this this drop see it is trying to create a bearish channel and even if it tries to retrace now 13000 uh, 60 13100 is the level only beyond which you can expect that it is going to rise else till the time it stays below 13100 i will not consider this as bullish as of now now also remember it has to break past by 12950 in order to confirm further bearishness and then 12900 850 850 is going to be the next strongest support for the day now if and only if you see See, there is a lot much of liquidity gap which it needs to cover till twelve eight fifty. And once you see tech hundred trading below twelve eight fifty, there is going to be further bearishness. Now look at the early charts of tech hundred. You can find double top here, which means thirteen thousand forty sixty zone, very very good resistance, and then thirteen one hundred is ultimate resistance level. Now look at the last two candles, lower highs, higher lows. Uh, so. we can see that it is trying to consolidate thus i will recommend you to sell now at 12940 levels or rather i will say 12950 levels you can sell and below which for the bearishness is going to prevail the stock has stick at bottom macd divergent and bearish rsi is oversold here too and if you look at two hour chart now see on the two hour chart this is a series of red candles here 12950 is going to be the very very good support and below that 12920 now possibility exists that it can can Cover this complete movement till twelve nine hundred eight fifty, or else what we can see here is see higher highs, higher lows, which means twelve nine fifty, twelve nine hundred levels is certainly going to remain a very very good support. The stock has stick at bottom, oversold, MACD divergent and bearish, RSI looking down, trying to trade bearish here. And if you look at three R, remember on the three R charts, so it has crossed over. See all the moving averages have started to converge and they are trying to cross over for a sell. Right now, it is trading below the twenty fifty hundred moving average on the three hour charts. It is looking forward to twelve nine fifty, which is going to be a very very good support. And only and only if it sustains below twelve nine fifty, we can expect nine hundred eight fifty as the extreme supports there. The stock has stick at bottom, MACD divergent and bearish RSI trying to look down. And if you look at four hour, now also one more observation on the four hour charts: higher highs. Higher lows, which means twelve nine hundred nine fifty zone is going to be an extremely extremely important support level. Stochastic oversold, MACD divergent and bearish. RSI looking down, trying to trade bearish here. Now look at the daily. Now see on the daily charts. Look at the previous candle. The price has failed to stay bullish. It tried to pull it down. Also look at this. It is giving a breakout here. And the next important observation is it has come to the. 20 period moving average which is very very good support and hence once it breaks below 12950 there could be further bearishness but remember till 850 800 levels nasdaq 100 has got very extremely good support and on the upside any buy entry today is above 13100 only stock has stick looking down macd is extremely divergent and bearish see and it is this crossover has happened at a slightly higher levels definitely we have to be watchful for a little while here rsi trying to look down trying to trade bearish considering this i will only recommend you to buy here at 13040 but then 13060 see 20 points trailing stop loss you have to put 20 points trailing stop loss till it stays below 13100 120 you have to put a 20 point trailing stop loss only and only it stays above 13120 you can say that there is bullishness so you can buy at 13040 however trade with a 20 point trailing stop loss on the downside i will recommend you to sell at 12950 levels below which 12920 12900 extremely good support if and only if it breaks below 900 we can say that there is little bearishness then also 850 and 800 levels are the next support levels be cautious till 800 it can bounce back and hence you have to trade with a trailing stop loss you have to 
strictly stop loss trade with the stop loss at cost so take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at dow jones and yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably you should join my mentorship the 21st batch starts now on 1st of may register yourself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description also you can be part of my signals group trading as per the signals definitely you can benefit now look at the early chart so us 30 c33 800 is certainly a wall is certainly a support and hence i will recommend you to sell now at 33 780 levels if you see trading below 33 780 you can sell now see what has happened in the recent past you can say here also lower highs lower lows now it is trying to retrace if it breaks past 33 950 levels 960 levels then only further bullishness is going to be seen and specifically a reversal confirmation is if you see it trading above 34,000 levels. Anything is possible. These are markets. A stock I stick at bottom looking up first. MACD divergent and bear is trying to converge. RSI recovering from the bottom, recovering from the oversold levels. Likewise on the 2R charts, on the 2R charts you can find, see these are converging here 20, 50, 100 period moving average and now it is trying to recover a bit. Also the previous candle, if you look at the previous candle has a very long tail there and a body this is a sign of a reversal and hence if you see it trading above 33 900 950 levels 960 levels then only further bullishness is going to be seen specifically i will be looking forward for so if you are buying here at 33 900 950 levels remember you have to put a 50 point trailing stop loss for us 30 till 34 100 you have to put a 50 point trailing stop loss there are resistance at 950 there are resistance at 34000 and there are resistance at 34050 34, hence we have to be extremely watchful stock i stick at bottom maybe divergent and bearish looking forward to converge a bit and the rsi at bottom trying to recover a bit if you look at 3r charts on the 3r charts likewise you will find the support here lower highs are seen Possibly there could be a recovery. 33,900 is something where you can buy, but then 33,940, 950 levels, very, very good resistance exists there. A stock I stick looking down, MACD divergent and bearish, RSI trying to recover. And if you look at 4R, now look at 4R charts, see 4 straight red candles. See here 1 red candle, then this reversal, then 4 straight candles, then this reversal. Now, even if it tries to recover here, we can see flat bottom lower highs in 33,950 and a reversal confirmation means 34,000 levels it needs to break pass by. A stock I stick at bottom MACD divergent bearish RSI flat and if you look at the daily charts now look at the daily chart. See three candles getting the closing here at flat at 33,800. There is potentially a reversal can be seen if it stays above 33,950 and 34,000 then you can expect that we may see higher highs also right now it is very much willing to consolidate within this zone after this bullish candle because you know once it stays above 33 7 80 800 levels we can expect it to hit 33 600 levels that is the next strongest support a stock i stick looking down macd willing to converge crossover for a sell rsi very near to the highs considering this i will recommend you to sell here at 33 800 and buy at 33 900 if you are buying at 33 900 you have to put a trailing stop loss of 50 points 33 950 till 33 950 today you have to be extremely extremely cautious a good safe entry is above 33 950 where you can expect 34 34050 34 100 and beyond that sky is the limit on the upside a good sell entry is below 33 800 or rather 780 below which you can expect 33 700 and 600 i will expect it to hit further lower levels till 33 600 if not possibly by tomorrow we may see it hitting those levels if it stays below 33 800 780 levels so take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a tailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship by join my signal channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email id are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day Thank you.